Listen, I get him the gourmet, and I, you got to get him. He likes McDonald's too, so I get him McDonald's too. People of the whole cliff, good morning. Good morning. So at this point, the fence has been put in. I don't know if we haven't shown this, but I didn't show any of that. But I just put a new ramp up. Just ending summertime stuff. But anyway, today I got some people coming down from Arizona. You guys saw I was recently over there. You'll remember the faces from the video. So I got some people coming down from Arizona that did a breeding with the Hulk. I know a lot of people are confused. Like, how is the Hulk still breeding? Well, if you listened in the video when I explained when he got neutered, I also explained that he was collected. So basically, yes, the Hulk is stored. So he's collected and he's, he's stored at a certain vet. And when people purchase the semen from us, we can send the semen to them and then they can breed with their dog. So, but obviously the semen is very expensive. But anyways people do do it and some people today have arrived that have done a breeding with the Hulk actually two um and honestly I think these are the last bre outside breedings that I'll ever do with him I don't think I'll sell any more straws from him ever so these are probably the last breedings from the Hulk outside of this besides um like one other obligation that I have other than that that's it it's over it's just in-house so I mean I'll keep them and over the years as I want to use him you know different dogs that I get to different dogs that I produce that I want to use with him then I'll have that so that's what's going on Oh, they should be here. Should be here soon. Big love, tap in, consistent underscore kennels on Instagram. People of the whole life, you know we're out here. Made it. Made it out here. So we're out here with the Hulk. I've had a bunch of dogs out. We went up the mountain and stuff. We'll bust out the drones. The weather's been like spotty here and there. The sun come, rain come, sun come out, rain. It's hectic, but. Good, right? You guys are amazing, brother. Thank you. For oh, real. Man. Good Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Like, I don't know, like, you know, I, people fall in love with that, like, oh, you gotta show this up, show that up. Like, I, I 
this nigga feels the shit, bro. I've lived normal. Yeah, the more you smart. own, the more you run yourself. It's like Nipsey, you know what I mean? It's yeah. all money in. Like, you know what I mean? All money in. So I do everything myself. Everything I can do myself, I do. I don't care how much money I got. I'm all, listen, I'll save $5 if I yes. can, bro. All right, stop. It's time for, you know what time it is, this interjection. Listen, so what I was talking about there real quick was, I was talking about a lot of different things. Obviously, I didn't film everything, but we just happened to get talking about, you know, just strategy and the ways that I've kind of moved through my life. And one of the things that I was saying is that, you know, listen, a lot of time in life is crazy. I've made a lot of money. That's not what I'm here to talk about, right? But the point of what I'm saying is, most people, yo, the problem is, even people that get a lot of money, right? Most people literally will spend the majority of the time spending their money trying to look rich rather than building letting them pile up having a plan having a goal that's what i've always done i've done little things like you know buy cars and jewelry and things like i mean you like you want to make investments at times different things real estate other things like that but that's like honestly like a much different level of a conversation i'm not really trying to talk to you from that level i'm talking to you from a much different perspective right now so just from a base form like if i had thought about this like way back when i was you know, a lot younger, just like the way I was going through life, you know, spending my money trying to impress people rather than using my money to build. That is what I'm saying. And then when you get to a point, you know, where I'm at in life, you know, I mean, you can do, it's, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But again, that's not the point of the conversation. The point of the conversation is how to accumulate that wealth and understanding, you know, impressing other people for the most part does not make you money. Now, like I said, there is a lot of different other strategies and different things that people use. I mean, this is all, I mean, honestly, there's different scammers and different things out there. And Instagram is like one of the greatest out there, but <laughs> that's a conversation for another time as well. But for the most part, be honest to yourself, use your money, you know, have a strategy and build. That's basically what I'm saying here. If I gave them a thousand dollars, most people are going to come back with like, you know, some new Jordans, some, you know, a nice, like, Gucci shirt and, you know, maybe a, a, a cell phone or, you know, something, I don't know, something. That's what most people are going to go do with that money. I don't even know what to waste money on. That's why I sound confused right here, because I don't know what the hell to waste money on. I know how to make money. That's what I know how to do. Now, what you should do with that money is go turn that money into more money. And that is a strategy that I've always used my whole life. I've always taken money and turned it into more money. And I haven't, like, I have more of an obsession with making money than I do with spending money. So it, it overbalances itself. And I've never cared what people think about me. So, you know, like for me, for years, like I was talking about this, for years, like I've chose to live the same way that I've lived forever. And I've made that choice because, well, all of a sudden I got money now, like I got to be bougie and I got to, like, I, that's not how I've ever been. I've just kind of been like, all right, I got the money now, I'm apply, I'm stacking it up and I got the master plan. You know, that's kind of how I am. You know, so I've been fine. You know, I live amongst my dogs. They destroy shit. They wreck shit. Yeah, it's like what I'm used to. It gives me shit to do a lot of the time, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, don't spend your time trying to impress other people. You know, broke people spend their time trying to look rich. Trust me, it, it's like I've, I've lived in that manner. Not in, you know, any recent time. Because, you know, obviously when, once money started flowing in the way that it started flowing for me, for me it was adjusting to a whole different lifestyle and understanding, like, what to do. Um, you know, understanding multiple streams and residual income and, you know, how to really kind of maximize what it was that was coming at me. That was a whole nother, a whole nother ballgame. That's a whole conversation for another time. But the simple stuff is, just think about it simply. Here's another quick way to think about money, right? If you get 100 people to give you $100 a month, right? That's six figures a year. It's a simple way to think about it, right? Six figures. If you get 1,000 people to give you $100 a month, six figures a month, that's seven figures a year. It's just, it's literally a mindset. It's all a matter of how you think about it. But don't spend your time trying to impress other people. Let it pile up. Have a strategy. I love y'all. It's just a long interjection, but it's necessary.
Crows, they're part of the, they, they're part of the lookout around here. What's up, y'all? Y'all good today? Down in the yard? You out? All right, they they going to tell everybody that I'm out here. Yeah, they talking. All right, y'all. Good day to y'all. See y'all. See y'all probably later. Probably be back. See, told you they'd be back. They live here. That's cool, yeah. I ain't got fly away. Oh, they're out. They're out. They hear my voice. Now we're working. I'm trying to train them. See the three of them. They're out. They're like, all right, we're out. We're gonna go sit over here and we're gonna come back. Well, I'm gonna take pictures right there right now, so I'm gonna be there, occupying that space. But then y'all can have it back when I leave. You know what I'm saying? Sharing is caring in this world, people. Like they wild strategic. So. There's one over in that tree. There's one right here. That, I don't know if you can see him, but he's over here. And then there's one over there. Crows are crafty, man. They're super smart. So I just try to pay attention to them. He's on. He ain't gonna go far, though. They never go far. What's up there, big guy? Bro, you're standing in poop, bro. You don't care? Said, no, don't care. Get food. Do you eat the dirt with the grass and, or no dirt with the grass? See if you eat the dirt with the grass. You just eat the dirt with the grass. You don't even care. Savage horses are. You build the Hulk life. I just filmed this little segment. I don't even know if I can put it in this video. If it get demontaged or not. But I just filmed a little Simba segment. Circle of life. Simba. King has arrived type of type of deal.
stalking Jordan again. Check your boy out. I zeroed in, I knew where he was at. Rip a little ramp. Uh, quick snipe. Duck. Third party. Gotcha. 